Osibio Tia Sebo. Osibio Bolongi. <laughs> All right, I hope I got it right. You got it right. All right, thank you for granting us this interview. What is the one thing you'd say, whether it's regard to um, development, um, advancement in one way or the other, or growth that stands out for you, a key area for Uganda in this last six decades? Although we are talking of six years, <laughs> but actually the years of progress are only 36. Yes. Because, because the initial 24 were, we were not even stagnant. We regressed uh, the initial 24 years. Mm -hmm. Because as you can see, Uganda is a very rich country. <laughs> mm. There's a lot of natural resources. We still have several disputes between Kenya and Uganda and barring of some products coming from here. So what is it you hope to do different to ensure the approach is similar for the benefit of all involved? Well, first of all, experience will teach us. Like this, what we're having now, problem of uh, high food prices, what, what. As I was saying in my speech, this is partly the only problem really that is not local is the problem of fuel, the, the, the fuel prices. This is the one which is from, from the global. Mm -hmm. But the others are our own, uh, our own mistakes. So w people will now see them. The, 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 because some of us have been talking about them. You know, Jesus was here. He told us what to do. People didn't listen. He was hanged. So are the other leaders in East Africa not the, listening? The, then as, as time, but as time went on, so no same one Christo. Kabisa? No one no at a minimum. Son of Kabuta is also a Christian. How did he become a Christian? Because Jesus said something, love your neighbors, you love yourself, love God with all your heart. The man was hanged. Lakina mm Ariacha -hmm. Ujumbe. He left the message. Your son, General Muhozi, went on a Twitter tirade threatening to capture Nairobi and saying it would take, in fact, two weeks. You, however, apologized on his behalf to Kenyans, but many wonder, and I want to start there, if it was any other general, other service man or woman, would they have received that same treatment? That general you are talking about, Mhozi, he's a very good, uh, very good officer in in in, in army things. Army, this one, because army has got a, a, all sorts of, of problems, corruption. Many of the armies are killed by corruption, stealing the resources of the army, uh, poor training, and so on. So, if somebody is, is good in something, but makes a mistake in something else, how would you handle it? Our experience is that you try to, as I said in my, because I also became a tweeter. <laughs> yeah, we saw your <laughs> statement. You went in there as well. <laughs> because I, I, I became a, a tweeter. So the, the, from our, our long experience, not, not only for Mohozi, for, if, for many, many of them, we try to get, because you, you, you may not get people 100% correct. Uh -huh. So if he, if he has got 10% mistake, 20% mistake, but 80% uh, contribution. And this is how you manage it. You have maintained in the past that, you, of course, you were elected by the people um, and you've been legally in office. However, your critics have argued that from the removal of term limits to the removal of age limits and other alleged strong-handed tactics in dealing with dissenting voices, including the opposition, 
at this point, be it all as it may, human beings are mortals. I wonder what kind of leadership you envision for Uganda post Museveni. The leadership is, uh, I told you that uh, Uganda is, has got owners. The people. Uh, the population. Mm -hmm. Those people, they are, they are here and they are increasing in number. <laughs> and uh, when the time comes, they sit down. Because you see, the, um, really the, the issue, f from our point of view, the issue is not the who, who leads, who leads, who leads. As I told you from the beginning, it is the what. The what is to be done. And if you see the way we have been, uh, the issues we have been dealing with here, uh, from 19, from 1965 actually, because you are talking of, I have been a leader since 1965, as a student leader. It is the same problems, challenge different phases, different phases of, of the same problem. Uh, so uh, now we are in an easier phase where we are running the country and the question is uh, at every stage we sit down and we say what do we do what is to be done what is to be done those term limits you are talking about we talked about them we, we had put them we, they had we, we had put them but then when we we, we 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 got some point we said but what is to what what is needed and we, we, we debated, we debated, the whole country debated, and we said no. Uh, they needed you? We, we need not me necessarily, but all hands on board. All hands on board. You know that expression in the, in the Navy, where everybody is needed. All hands, yes, on deck. O on deck. Yes. O on deck. All hands on, on, on deck. So, uh, that's really the issue. The issue is not that uh, it, is, it is, for us, we don't think it is the who, it is the what.